In part one, we had made it to beautiful town of Nelson. Part two picks up the journey and we fly up to Fairmont Hot Springs. From there, we'll pass through Rogers Pass, down through the mountains to Vernon, BC. We have a side trip to Penticton and then fly back to Vernon before we make it our way back home. Our journey starts with us packing up our planes and departing Nelson early in the morning. As we say goodbye to Nelson, Richard will be taking a different route than I will be. He'll fly south down towards Creston and then cut across the mountains and fly up to the Canadian Rockies International Airport and then up into Fairmont. Whereas I'll be taking a more direct route. I'll be flying over a 6,400 foot mountain ridge and then down into the valley. I'll be following this valley all the way through to Kimberley. Once in Kimberley, it opens up into the Kootenai Valley. This is a very large valley and the Rocky Mountains are right on the edge of it. Thank you.
I've made it through the valley and I'm now going to turn north and proceed up the Kootenai Valley to Fairmont Hot Springs. As you can see, the Rocky Mountains are on the right side of my plane.
we made it to Fairmont Hot Springs. It was an exciting flight for Richard and I. We got our bikes out of the planes, secured the planes, and started to ride off when a plane got a flat tire on the runway. So we helped them move the plane off the runway before we headed off on our bike ride up into the mountains to Fairmont Hot Springs. It wasn't long before we decided to take a break. We needed some water and we were only halfway there. Ha! We continued our journey up the hill and finally made it to the Fairmont Hot Springs Resort. It was getting quite warm and we wanted to get checked into our accommodations before we hit the hot springs itself. The springs were very pleasant, not too hot, and a great view as well. After dinner, we went for another hike back up into the old area where they used to have the hot springs. It was quite picturesque up there. It seems like they've got lots of hiking trails up there, but Richard and I were a little bit on the tired side after flying in and biking up that hill. So we decided to just stay close to the hotel area and check out the views from where we were. It was quite a nice day in, to in all, and Richard found his hot tub, but unfortunately it sprung a leak. Anyway, breakfast time in the morning, and then we headed out back down to the airport to get our planes ready for departure to Rogers Pass.